Hi everyone, I'm back again with the other set of core watercolours that I received for Christmas. This is the set of six high chromas and they are also 5ml tubes and pretty much identical to the packaging that we looked at last week with the earth colours. So I'll just quickly move things to one side here and just open the tin so you can have a little look inside as well. As you can see I've already squirted the colours out and managed to get the books stuck to the sticky paint so fortunately most of it came off so I'm just going to move everything out of the way except for that pen in the top right hand corner which I completely forgot about sorry about that <laughs> anyway here's the chart I've drawn up which is pretty much identical to last week's earth color chart and I'm going to swatch these paints out for you I'll just quickly run through the colors here and starting with quinacridone gold transparent pearl orange Quinacridone magenta, dioxazine purple, cobalt teal, and green gold. Okay, let's get into it. As usual, I'm wetting the paints because I really want to see the aquazole in action, which, of course, as I mentioned in the last video, is unique to core watercolors. Usually, other companies use gum arabic and or honey as their binder. So here's our first one, this is quinacridone gold, and as you can see it's really really running and splitting from that deep orange that the quinacridone golds are known for into a much lighter yellow. It's a series 3 colour and it does have two pigments, it's uh, PO48 which is the orange and PY150 which is the yellow as you can see down the bottom. And boy this colour really really spreads. It's got a good light fastness and it's transparent and staining and I'm just adding a bit more so you can really see that deep deep orangey gold color that you get in the mass tone I really like this version of quinacridone gold okay going to the next one transparent pearl orange this one also is a runner as we can see and I just sort of blobbed a bit on so you can see how much it runs just by touching that wet paper Transparent Pearl Orange is a Series 2 colour. It's made up of a single pigment, P071. It has good light fastness, is transparent, and it's staining. In fact, this one is technically the cheapest paint out of the set being a Series 2. Everything else is a Series 3 or 4, which is pretty good considering this costs the same as the Earth Tone set, and the Earth Tone set only really had Series 1 and possibly one Series 2. I'll have to double check that. I'm just adding a little bit of darker tone here just so we can get more of a gradient going on. And our next one is the very very vibrant quinacridone magenta. I really love this colour. It's so pink and beautiful. Some magentas I find are a little bit leaning on the purple side and kind of dull but this one's really really vibrant and I love it a lot. It's made up of the pigment PR122 it's a series 3 and it has excellent light fastness which is great for pink colors which are quite often very very fugitive it's transparent and staining and I'm just adding a bit more to the top there again just so we can see that beautiful color coming through boy it's vibrant onwards to our next one and look at it go that is really crazy that one that is the dioxazine purple in pigment PV23. It's a series 3 and has an excellent light fast rating. It's also mostly transparent and very staining. I'm just painting it as lightly as I possibly can just so you can kind of see how dark it gets when I put this next layer on. Darks in purple in many brands can be almost black when it's at its thickest pigment if you will or mass tone. This one I found was a little bit lighter but still a very very rich royal beautiful purple on the cooler side so a little bit blue not quite violet in this case. It's also a great color for painting jacaranda trees which are this exact color of purple. Onwards to cobalt teal. Now this one probably moved the least out of all of the paints here. And I'd say that's more the nature of cobalt itself, which is a heavy metal. Oh yeah! And it's also extremely toxic in high levels. So I would always recommend washing your hands after you've used a cobalt paint. 
and keep away from children and animals, please. This is such a beautiful colour. It's a Series 4, it's very expensive, excellent light fasteners, semi-transparent and semi-staining. I love this colour so much. I especially like teals when they're on the bluer side rather than the greener side. And lucky last here is the Green Gold. This is a Series 3 and is another single pigment colour which is PY129. It has good light fastness, it's transparent and semi-staining. I like this colour. It goes from a very yellowy green to a very yellow yellow, almost neon yellow once you start to dilute it out. And I quite like that it's similar to the quinacridone gold, even though it's a single pigment in this case, in that you get such a range of colour from the deeper green yellow up the top to a much lighter and more delicate yellow with just still a hint of green undertone. In this next section, I did the primary triad again. I'm using quinacridone gold, quinacridone magenta, and cobalt teal, just to see if I can get some secondary colours. I suppose I could have used the green gold, but when I'm looking at it, it just felt a little bit too green, so I think the quinacridone gold was a better choice. The first one here, I'm mixing quinacridone gold with quinacridone magenta. Say that fast five times. And this made a quite vibrant and rich, deep orange colour. I did sort of mess about a bit trying to balance the gold and the magenta together because I'd either go in one or the other direction too much. But my end effect was a lovely orange colour. Probably a bit richer than the transparent pearl orange in this case. So that's nice to have. Next I did quinacridone gold with cobalt teal and can you see that green coming out? I was really surprised because the quinacridone gold looks so orange in its the deeper tones but when it mixed with the cobalt teal it just went into this beautiful green. I loved it. And back with the last one here is quinacridone magenta and cobalt teals. I'm expecting a good purple here because these are two very bright colours. And yep really pretty purple. Similar to a light dioxazine purple. Once again on the cooler side because both the magenta and the cobalt teal are considered fairly cool colours. Here we are when they've dried and they are very very vibrant. I especially love that cobalt teal and the beautiful granulation that you can see in it especially up the top here. Can you see how it's granulated out? I also noticed it in the dioxazine purple a bit and you can really see it in the two mixes in the green here and in the purple. You can see that undertone of granulation from the cobalt teal. Beautiful colours and look at that rich orange. I like that too. So that's the end of this swatching. Here we have a lovely blank page and I don't know how that tissue got in there. I'm going to do a painting using these six colours and we'll see what we can get. At the moment I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to paint. But we'll find out next time. Until then, I'll swatch you later!